Claudio Vergara has been running his family's cherry farms for the last two decades, as his father did before him. What is new is the drone that Claudio now uses to monitor and check on his orchards, everything to ensure the quality of the produce. All of his production is exported, 90% of it to China, and the farmer says Chinese buyers only accept the very best fruits. Every year we increase the amount of cherries that we are sending to China, and we think uh, this will remain in the future if we send from Chile to China our best cherries. They like bigger, fresh and sweeter cherries. We send cherries and we buy drones. <laughs> <laughs> there is growing concern worldwide with healthier eating and this creates great opportunities for producers of fruits and vegetables but it also poses some challenges. How to get these delicate fruits to travel to their destinations around the world and still get there fresh and juicy as if they had just been picked. Hand-picked at the orchard, the cherries go straight to a refrigerated truck and they have to be kept cold until they reach the market shelves around the planet. The same goes for many of the other fresh fruits exported by Chile. According to the Chilean Fruit Producers Federation, Fed Fruta, fresh fruit exports reached a total of about $1.1 billion last year. The cherries were the stars, responding for about 600 million US dollars, mostly because of Chinese demand. Now, Chilean producers are preparing to start also shipments of nectarine to the Chinese market. The president of Fed Fruta, also a former Chilean ambassador to China, says farmers here are resolved to see these figures grow even further. Today, all the grower is prepared his production for export. In the case of the fruits, only 5 or 8 percent is for internal market, and the rest, 92, 95 percent, is for export. Chile was lucky to have the environmental and geographical conditions to be a prime food producer, and it seems to be displaying also the competence to make the best of it.